All right, Hades Omega here. It is uh, April 23rd, 2016, and Toyota's got this uh, Prius uh, parade event going on here in Alameda, California. Uh, right there, they're doing hot laps. I'll, I'll have a video of uh, my hot lap later. Uh, unfortunately, we can't drive the 4G Prius around the track. Uh, we have to, uh, we can only sit in the car with the professional driver. <laughs> I bet I can go pretty fast in that thing anyway. But uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty impressive. The, they say that the um, the fourth gen Prius is one of the um, is one of the best uh, handling Priuses to date because it has uh, like a full independent rear suspension now instead of a torsion rear suspension. So that's pretty cool. And I've driven one, and I don't know. It seems okay. I haven't really got to drive it to uh, you know its performance limits. Oh hey, look at this here. So this is like, uh, I guess this is the tech tips, uh, like, oh hey, like, it's Prius chat. I, uh, I always go uh, lurk on their forums, and uh, there's a Prius chat, third gen Prius. Whoa, look at that fancy cup holder there. And look at this, this is a Toyota Mirai. Hydrogen fuel cell. Power Toyota, pretty cool. So what this is is a, it's a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. It you pump it with hydrogen and uh, it makes the electric motor go. That's all I'll say. I won't get into into in depth uh, chemistry with this car, but basically all that comes out of the tailpipe on this car is uh, water and oxygen. So here's the full plug. So fuel type, gaseous hydrogen. 10,150 PSI. That's a lot of um, pressure. Oh, look at that. It has a, there's a date. There's a date for how long the tank is good. It's good until the t 2030. So the tank's only good for like 15 or so years. It looks better for the outside, man. It is. It's just like a hooking up a hose to an air compressor. <laughs> I wonder what this H2O button means. Chris? What's that? Can you tell something about this car? Oh yeah, look at this. So uh, this is the first time I sat in the Mirai. This is pretty cool. It has heated seats all around. And it, like, the interior looks a lot like the 4th gen Prius. Uh, you can see where the 4th gen Prius styling comes from. So he said 312 miles a tank of hydrogen. It's a 2016 World Green Car. So all that comes out of the tailpipe is oxygen and water. He said, uh, he said there's a couple dealers in San Jose that are going to sell it because there's a hydrogen station near there. He said that they give you a fuel car that has $15,000 worth of uh, hydrogen like credits on it and you can just fill up your car for like two years or something. So the gas is like free if you buy one of these. But I think they retail around 40000 or something, so, I mean, it is kind of cool if you want to drive the latest technology. And it's here, it's now, it's the future. Hydrogen fuel cell. <laughs> Alright, here we got the, the Prius Prime, or the new plug-in hybrid. This engine looks like pretty much the same engine as this regular Prius. It's got some cool fog lights. I like those fog lights. Oh, the lights are different too. It's got these kind of like a cube, Cuba eyes on it. So the front's a little different on it. It looks actually, I kind of like the front on this one. Other than that, it's pretty much, it has Prius Prime floor mats. And it's pretty much the same. Oh no, it's all a, uh, it has a computer 
multi-function display right here. They did way with, so they went, they're going back, uh, the controls are different than a regular Prius. It's got a lot of, a lot of the same stuff as a Prius. It has a heated steering wheel, I think. This is pretty cool. Oh, look at that cool cup holder. Oh, oh no! Your center row is gone now. It's only a four-seater, so it's uh, it's like a Volt now. <laughs> yeah, it's different. The, the body styling is different. The back, yeah, like so. You lose the center row. So, this is the biggest, this has the, uh, this has a bigger screen. So, so uh, there's the drive mode button. It has a it has drive modes and something EV and EV auto. There it is, you do not put E85 in here, only up to E15. <laughs> the chicken engine will come out. And then it's still got the gas filler. So it's like a Honda, you press on it and it opens. <laughs> is this where you recharge it? This is the charging port. the charging thingy. And it's a standard now, so what's in here then? Um, that is actually a holder for this. Really? Um, there's a special instruction for it. I haven't, yeah, there you go. I haven't figured it out, but there is a, there's apparently, it's the holder. I'm working on that. Cool. I'm working on it. It's even got a little light. I, there's a light here, and then this is also a charging light, which gives you the charge. Oh. I have, I'm figuring that one out. It's brand new. So what's the range then? Um, the total range of the vehicle is over 600 miles. The EV range is 22. 22? So here's the there's the there's this little uh, stick spec sheet here for 2017 Prius Prime. Basically, the new Prius hi uh, plug-in. So it has a new quad LED headlights, which we saw. Those are pretty cool. I like this. It has a bigger uh, multifunction the screen the screen, and it's fun to drive EV character. <laughs> it's projected class leading 120 miles per gallon, 22 miles EV range. It has remote charge management from a smartphone app. Uh, it has battery charge time of 5.5 hours. Not bad. So it's, I mean, it's like a Prius, but uh, and it has all the the cool new features of the fourth gen Prius. The collision system, lane depart alert. Speed dynamic radar cruise, radar cruise control. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Automatic high beam. All right, and here we just have the Ford Gen Prius. If uh, you haven't seen it, my little uh, test drive video. I test drove one of these. Uh, go check out my channel. It's it's somewhere in there. I might put it in. Uh oh, looks like the Prius parade is starting. All right, so here's something cool. Uh, they have every uh, generation of Prius on display right here. First gen, there's the second gen, third gen, and here's the fourth gen. Cool. I'm gonna go walk around the back of them, I guess.